Fall Prevention Education Session Physiotherapy Part 2 It is important to acknowledge that the biggest fall risk for seniors is to be sedentary. But how do exercises help prevent falls? Exercises can improve strength, endurance, mobility, and flexibility. All these factors contribute to improving your balance. Here are the multiple factors affecting your balance. We have your eyesight, your inner ear and your vestibular system, the sensation in your feet, your flexibility, your muscular strength, dual tasking, your environment, and your confidence. How to start exercising? First, find an activity that you like. Then, try to find partners like friends or a group that can participate with you. And finally, try to integrate it into your routine. To start exercising, you could check what's available in your community through the program PIE, P-I-E-D, that exists in your CLSC, through your community centers, through organized groups in residences, and through the FADOC, Fédération de l'Âge d'Or du Québec. You can also practice exercises individually through daily walks with a personalized exercise program and check websites and videos or DVDs for exercises. True or false? To feel the benefits of physical activity, I must be out of breath every time I engage in an activity. The answer is false. You have to do just a little bit more. For example, can I commit to doing 5% more than what I currently do? True or false? Doing physical activity as a group is a good way to stay active. The answer is true. It allows you to socialize, it can be more pleasant, and it's very motivating. Don't forget that what is important is to enjoy yourself. When walking in the community, make sure to plan your outings to be able to take a rest if needed. Ask for help when crossing the street or from family or friends if the weather is unsuitable. Make sure to use your walking aid if recommended and shop online or by phone if stores are in inaccessible because of the distance or the temperature. In winter time, make sure to clear the stairs because ice can be hidden underneath the snow. Also, try to wear winter boots with good non-slip soles and if needed with ice grippers that you should remove inside or when driving your car. And finally, make sure you dress warmly. Dual tasks. Unfortunately, with age, it becomes harder to perform two tasks at the same time. So, you should take that in consideration. For example, is my balance decreased if I speak at the same time that I walk? And if I answer my phone while walking? The answer is yes. And it is the same thing for these examples. If I think about my grocery list while I clear my stairs, and if I'm carrying an object on the stairs. Now let's talk about what to do if you fall. Having a plan is very important. It is a concrete plan that you will put in application in the event of a fall. Make sure to consider technological aids that you can have around you for example, a portable or cell phone available at all times, or a lifeline button that you can wear on your neck or wrist, or a panic button available at your residence. What happens if I fall? First of all, make sure to stay calm, because falling can be a shock. Also, ask yourself these questions. Am I hurt? Do I have the strength to get up? And do I have the confidence to get up? And finally, call for help. It could be a room neighbor, nurses, friend, family, 
or even by calling 911. And so when asking yourself, am I able to get up from the floor? If the answer is yes, then you can proceed to getting up. And if the answer is no, then you should have a comfort plan. A comfort plan consists of three specific actions. One, draw attention. Make some noise and try to call for help. Two, stay warm. Find a blanket or a towel to cover yourself. And three, keep moving because ankles and wrists by moving maintain a good blood circulation in your legs and arms. Here are images showing you the steps to getting up from the floor. First of all, try to turn on your side to go onto your knees and hands and walk towards a chair. Try to get up with the chair by using one leg in front of you and pushing with your arms also. Finally, Turn around and sit down on the chair. True or false, there is more than one way to get up from the floor. The answer is true. One technique is not appropriate for all and your therapist will recommend what is best for you. True or false, it is not necessary to consult my doctor if I fall without hurting myself. The answer is false, because when we fall, we are at greater risk of a second fall. It is very important to find the reason why you fell. Here are different points to summarize this presentation. First of all, everyone is at risk of falling. Be aware of your own risk factors. Make sure you wear good shoes. Use your assistive devices according to our recommendations and make sure you stay active. Watch out for dual tasking and have a plan in case of a fall. Okay, so now let's all put this into action. Do you think you can change some aspects of your everyday life to prevent falls? If you have any questions concerning this presentation, Make sure to talk to your physical therapist. And don't forget that there are two additional video sessions provided by an occupational therapist and a nurse. Ask your therapist for more details regarding the fall prevention program. And thank you for your attention.